Hey everyone, we are at the penultimate episode of Botch, so season one, episode seven, Girls Gone Wild. Uh, okay, um, come on puppies. So I've had an exciting morning, I got a phone call that my mother-in-law was being rushed to the hospital, turns out she's okay, her blood pressure went way up, but they got under control, so man, it's just been one heck of a day. Anyway, you are never going to believe what surgery we have this episode. A breast job. I mean, can you believe it? A breast job on Botched? Okay. I'm being sarcastic. Uh, I think we've had one every single episode. We've had a nose job probably at least half of the episodes. But it makes sense. I mean, I can't really bother them about doing a lot of nose jobs and breast jobs. I would guess they're incredibly popular and uh, they're also easy to screw up. So the theme of this episode is sort of complications. All three patients we see had complications, not just from a bad surgery, but after the surgery itself. So first off, let's start with Lacey Wilde, who has the six biggest breasts, I guess, around. I th That is according to her. They are 3,500 cc's, and now I'm no cc expert, but after watching seven episodes of Botched, I am starting to kind of realize that most of these implants are somewhere between, you know, 200, maybe 500 being a huge implant would be like 500. Um, and she at, is at almost two gallons. She's humongous. She had um, a situation uh, like the complication I mentioned where the weight of the breast, which she says is 21 pounds of breasts, I think combined, tore her pectoral muscle and burst a vein and she said she was bleeding internally and they swelled up and it was a real big deal and she had to have an internal bra put in made of pigskin. So there you go. I mean we have, there's no doubt she's not getting the surgery. No doubt. She wants to go to a triple Q which is increasing it something like 50% bigger. I mean there's just no way. Um, they didn't say what she does, I don't, but I don't think I'm going on a limb to say that she either does nude modeling or pornography right um anyway he's uh, terry says this is she is already twice as big as anything he'd seen um or done already her existing setup and in fact she doesn't even have uh her implants aren't even implants they're tissue expanders okay so they're not even really meant to be used the way they're being used i can't even imagine who does this kind of surgery but no surprise that she comes in, she does her consultation. They do a lot of, I mean, there were some really interesting things with the fact that you could see the blood refilling in the capillaries and the veins and stuff when you pushed on the breast. I mean, it was kind of crazy. But anyway, they're not doing the surgery. I mean, it's shocking. Okay, so anyway, let's get to our real patients. We have Selena, who has uneven breasts, and whoever does the little caption underneath their name, it's really... I mean, it's really mean. Like, they called her um, alien boobs. I'm like, okay. Anyway, um, she uh, she had two surgeries. She admits that she took off her bra. She didn't finish the antibiotics. One's encapsulated. They're at different heights. They're kind of a mess. But she has some real kind of issues with her body. She has very little uh, I mean, she looks great. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that she deserves to be, but she definitely seems to have more issues with her body than me looking at her body thinks that she should have. Do you know what I mean? Um, uh, anyway, she gets the surgery done. She looks great. I thought she looked great before. Clearly, her boyfriend loved her before. He loves her after, so that's all good. Now we see Christina, who had a liposuction and a tummy tuck, and it was all messed up. So she got a MRSA, which... Um, I think most people are familiar with in terms of it being a very, very, very dangerous infection, like super dangerous. And so you see the result of the tummy tuck and it is not good. So she has horrible surgery anxiety. Okay. So they decide that they're not going to put her totally under. I guess her anxiety is about going under because they decided not to put her totally under. They're going to heavily medicate her, uh, sedate her so that she can go under. Now I've had surgeries procedures I should say they didn't totally put me under that's where they like stick something down your throat and they keep you breathing I was the same kind of thing I was very very heavily sedated I've had it where I go completely under I have absolutely no awareness until I'm done and I've had it where I'm semi-aware and they ask me about my pain level and they can um I've done both I'm I, I am a little bit more scared of being somewhat awake because I worry that I'm gonna freak out 
But uh, there you go. They're experts. And afterwards, she looks great. So there you go. That is our episode. Next week will be our last episode. I'm super bummed. Love the show. I hear that the ratings have been super successful, so I predict that unless Paul or, or Terry back out, that we'll probably have a second season. I think it's a really good guess based on the fact that... Um, uh, that the ratings from what I hear are great. I love the show. A lot of people on Twitter love the show. And I hope that we can get maybe some a little bit more interesting cases. Not just no jobs and boob jobs. But they're still interesting. I'll take them. Okay, we'll see you guys.